also uh, just scheduled two killer appointments for my digital marketing client out of Charlotte. Um, so targeting CPAs, uh, first appointment was a lady who is uh, just established a new firm in a new market coming from Atlanta, taking over into North Carolina, uh, looking to establish brand awareness in that new market. I uh, just got off the phone for another appointment with a very large CPA firm, two locations, uh, do around six million a year. Uh, they're overall looking to refresh their website, um, kind of place themselves in a higher bracket for uh, more, you know, a larger target market for hedge funds and uh, bigger companies. So we're going to be able to help them out. I think it's going to be a great one. I got two today for my client in Hawaii. The first one is oh, with a yeah. private school. Any questions or concerns? Uh, they're having issues with their gym, some leaks. I uh, got a hold of the guy on Wednesday, uh, basically set up everything for the appointment, but I didn't get the date and time, so I called him back today. Uh, got the date and time locked out, so we'll go next Wednesday uh, at 9 a.m. to see what we can do for him. The second one is with a church uh, and a preschool. Uh, two different buildings, one's shingled and uh, one's flat with TPO. Uh, both of them have a, like little issues, so we're going to go out there on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Uh, as well to see what we can do for them. I got four appointments today for three different clients. One was with uh, my Greensboro client that was with a government agency. They have 15 workstations, one server, one location. That client wants just specifically external companies or external IT use. And so they're looking to review their resources here in January. So we'll meet with them next week to give a pricing and proposal and so they can compare and contrast services as well. I got two appointments for my Raleigh, North Carolina client. Their focus is on cybersecurity and compliance. I spoke with two different companies that are worried about the CMMC that's coming in 2024. One is with a farming company, and then the other one's with a DOD uh, defense agency. They both want to see how we can help out with assessments so they can be prepared for the changeover that Biden's doing. And then my last appointment is for my Nebraska client, and that is with that has 17 locations, 200 workstations, and is looking for additional resources. We're meeting with them next week as well just to go over what we cover, and then a pen test and a network assessment as well. I got an appointment for my IT client with a the manufacturer. Yeah, they I'm have sure. a contract that's up at the end oh, of the year, it? so they're looking to compare prices. They have about 25 users and three servers, so we're going to meet with them next week to see what we can do. All right, what do we got today, guys? Let's see what's up. What do we got? See half of those from that scene. Yes, sir. Yeah. Clutch. Yeah. Clutch. Clutch. Yeah. Uh, this little battle is uh, pretty fun to watch. Tell us about it before today. Uh, well, my goal today is to crush Ryan completely <laughs> and uh, get in there. But uh, I got one last one for Easy IT in Nebraska. It was with 17 locations, 200 workstations. Talked with the CEO. He's bringing on the CFO talk with us on the 13th about their uh, external IT needs. Then I got two for Petronella, which is purely cybersecurity. Uh, they were specifically talking CMMC with that coming through the board on in 2024, so both of those should be good. They're set for the 13th and 14th of next month. And then I got one for Creative IT, which looks for um, companies specifically working with external companies and looking to review which their time of the year is coming, and so we're meeting with them on the 13th. 13th is going to be a hot day for the next one. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Who else? We got to go to Ryan next, right? We have to. Oh I got one for Delta today. It was an apartment complex. All right, so I guess it's just an apartment building, but they're having really bad leaks. It's like 20,000 square feet or a little more, uh, and we're going out there on Monday to see what we can do. Right. It's going to be a photo finish here. What are you boys going to do? Yeah, so look it out. Alright. Alright, he's hungry, actually. He's been calling me number two all month. So. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Who else? Who's got one? Who's got a good one? Nick? Um, another one for RMK. This is an apartment complex in Daytona Beach. Uh, I called the guy at the property management company back in September and he said uh, you know we're looking at some uh, work that needs to be done at the end of 23 early 24 uh, had some phone tag recently and yesterday finally 
told me he was going to send me an email about something, and you know, we'd schedule it from there. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a turns out we had a record for this apartment complex as well with a new property manager. So uh, they're taking bids right now, and they're making a decision next week. So I booked it for tomorrow morning. Do you uh, do you remember how big it was? Well, there's like nine or ten different roofs that need to be expected, so some of the buildings, it kind of varies. I think the largest one was like 8,000 square feet, or 6,000. Good right there. What about uh, Miss Emma? Let's get yeah. back yours, huh? Yeah, I got one for my Charlotte IT. Um, he said that they have someone, but they reevaluate at the end of the year, so um, they're going to meet with them on the 11th. It's like 25 users, new servers. Sweet spot. So great thing to remember, y'all. You know, uh, for every reason why you think someone wouldn't take a meeting at the end of the year, there's always a reason why they would. So as you're working, you know, imagine reasons why the person you're about to talk to would say yes. And at the end of the year here, most people are evaluating their budgets uh, for next year. They're evaluating the performance of the vendors that they're using. So keep that in mind. It's a, a really strong motivator for people who have had a tough year and they've got, you know, bad vendors working for them. Uh, you know, it's a very compelling reason to change. So that's a great appointment. Great appointment. Anybody else? Yeah, Jake? Yeah, good one yesterday. The, the right before we were done today, uh, my payment processing client. Uh, it has been since July. The first call was in July. And then many, many calls later, I finally called the guy after uh, Thanksgiving. And he said, let's go. We'll do an appointment tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I was like, all right, great. And it's a pretty big one. How big? So uh, my research said they did 40 million a year. My client talked to me today. He says they do over 100. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. Anybody else? Good ones. I got the third one for all pro today. I uh, just started brand new. Started building contacts, uh, trying to get the third one, and I came across it. Two locations, uh, just one just town over, both 40,000 square feet. I uh, reached out to the facilities manager and she said uh, they're going to be reevaluating in the summer. Let her know that we're super eager to come out and just put a face to the name. We've been working alongside her for a while. Um, she declined the meeting, just let her know how eager we really are. Kind of just reiterated on that and uh, we're going out with donuts next week to shake hands. Hey, there you go. That's it. So I'll take the first no. There's a yes behind there. All right, that's great. Great work. Proposals? Close the deals? For a three got a proposal out. It's kind of weird. The prospect wanted an hourly rate, but it starts at a certain amount of hours, so minimum would be 20k uh, if they sign on, which would come out to like I don't know, 17 or 50 a month, something like that. Nice. We actually got nominated for a national award for um, the Small Business Administration. It's not award, an award that we apply for. Somebody just kind of noticed the work that we do and how we're affecting a bunch of small businesses across the country. So uh, I think the results, you know, they're, they're not in yet, but I actually just got a call asking for like a write-up and an authorization release and stuff like that, just in case uh, we would win it. And if we win that, combined with some of the other stuff, we're gonna be fine no matter what, but like it's gonna be, you know, next level kind of, News stories like that's an that's an award we would put in a trophy case. That's a real award. It doesn't cost any money to apply. You know, somebody just said, "Hey, this is a good company." Um, by the way, those are coming out this time too. I've gotten emails from Small Business Monthly, Entrepreneur Magazine, Fast Company, blah 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 blah. It's it's the early discounted deadline. You know, it only costs you a thousand dollars to win Best Place to Work. You know, and then we can shoot you all a link and say, hey, everybody talk about how cool it is. You know, we're never going to do that stuff. Okay, so be excited about that. Let, let's really go finish the year strong. December is a really big time. Like, do a really good job, so I want to sign up. Okay, make sense? All right, guys, go have a good lunch. Facilities I got really one great. for my solar client just, uh, just a little bit ago. It was with a performing arts company that yeah, owns a building out there. It's about 20,000 square feet. I spoke with the CEO. Um, he wanted me to set it up for later in the month. He wanted to loop in the director of operations, the director of facilities in there as well. So I have pretty high hopes about this one. I'm really excited. Yeah, I got one today for my client in Kansas City. Uh, called this apartment complex when I first got my client back in September. Uh, they told me to basically wait them out. 
call them back in December, so I called them back today uh, before December. They're having all types of leaks and issues, so we're going out there Tuesday morning to see what we can do for them. Yeah, so got another one today for my uh, roofing client in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, called over, it was actually a uh, to use car dealership. Got the, uh, the manager over there and uh, just pitched him our services. And uh, we're actually going to go out there uh, next week, uh, next Wednesday. It's a 16,000 square foot amount of room. Um, Looks like it might need a little work, and it's been a long time since anyone's been up there. So we're going to go out there next week and see if we can help them out. It should be a pretty good one. I got an appointment today for my client, my IT client in Texas. It's with a floral company. It, they have 35 users, two on-site servers, and one off-site server, and they're reevaluating their contract in January. So set an appointment for next week for us to go out and uh, Let's see if we can be a better fit for you. Well, I recently booked an appointment for an RNK at an assisted living facility in Port Orange, Florida. I spoke to the maintenance manager, and while the building is only five years old, they did get a small leak in a corner edge from a recent storm. So, uh, there, that is uh, that appointment is going to happen. Uh, <coughs> next Tuesday at 10.30, it's a one-story building with asphalt shingles. Just looking for a quote for the time being.